Hello, this is Nomad. Today I'll be reading from The Arabian Nights. This particular copy is from 1897. Sometimes called The Thousand and One Nights is the title of a collection of fantasful oriental tales first brought to the notice of English readers in 1704 by Antoinette Gallard, professor of Arabic in the Royal College of Paris and a resident for years at Constantinople. These fascinating fictions become at once exceedingly popular and have since maintained a deservedly foremost position in the juvenile literature of the world and are probably more widely read than almost any other production of the human mind. The exact origin of these tales is still unknown. Advocates of equal ability have claimed for them a Persian, Indian, or purely Aramid uh, Arabian source. Two things are now generally admitted, that they are traced in substance to an older work of the very origin, and they are founded upon Muslims, customs, and described Muslim manners, sediments, religion, and superstitions. Aladdin, or the Wonderful Lamp. Aladdin was the son of Musafa, a poor tailor in one of the rich provinces of China. When the boy was old enough to learn to trade, his father took him into his own workshop. But Aladdin, being an idle fellow, loved playing more than work, and spent his days in playing in the public fields with other boys as idle as himself. His father died while he was yet young, but he still continued his foolish ways, and his mother was forced to spin cotton night and day in order to keep himself and her. When he was about fifteen... Years old, he was one day playing in the street with some of his companions, a stranger who was going by and looked at him. The stranger was a famous African magician who, having need of help of some ignorant person, no sooner beheld Aladdin than he knew by his whole air, manner, and appearance that he was a person of small prudence and very fit to be made a tool of. The magician then artfully inquired of some person standing near the name and character of Aladdin, and the answers proved to him that he had judged rightly of the boy. The stranger, now pressing in amongst a crowd of lads, clapped his hands on Aladdin's shoulder and said, "'My good lad, art thou not the son of Musasa the tailor?' "'Yes, sir,' said Aladdin, "'but my father has been dead this long time.' "'Alas!' cried, "'what an unhappy news! "'I am thy father's brother. "'Child, I have many years been abroad, "'and now—' that I have come home in the hope of seeing him, you tell me he is dead? And all the while, tears ran down the stranger's cheek, and his bosom heaven with sighs. Then pulling out a purse, he gave Aladdin two pieces of gold. Take this, my boy, he said, to your mother. Tell her that I will come see her tonight and sup with her. Thank you for watching.